Hi, this is Jeff Stone, director of The Great Race, and we're doing this series of how-to videos to help rookies, first-timers, and folks who are coming back to The Great Race maybe for the second time. And we're gonna talk about clocks, stopwatches, and wristwatches, because this event is all about starting on time, staying on course, and staying on time. And you can do that with these pieces. Now, this is the nine inch clock that most of the racers will use. And it's made by Sawtooth Clocks. It's very consistent uh, second hand sweep, but it has a minute hand that is quite loose. And it's quite easy to make a one minute error with the clock. When I rally, I don't use the clock any longer. Uh, some people use the clock only for the second hand so they can see seconds go by, but not they do not use it for the time of day. Now, you are allowed a digital stopwatch like this. Most of these stopwatches have three buttons on the top and uh, they uh, mode so that you can toggle back and forth between the time of day and stopwatch mode. And if you get this stopwatch set correctly, you will not need that that clock. You can take it with you if you'd like and use it in emergencies knowing that the minute hand could easily get off or as time is approaching the top of the hour when the second hand is up in the 55, 56 second uh, range moving up to the zero at the top of the clock, the minute hand has already moved to the next minute and it can be uh, uh, troublesome in figuring out what minute it actually is. But the stopwatch, you can start and stop the stopwatch for a lot of maneuvers. A lot of maneuvers on this race will require the stopwatch for you to do a specific mover, maneuver for 25 seconds, maybe a minute and a half, maybe six or seven minutes. Stopwatch is excellent for that. You will change the speed. It'll tell you, the instructions will tell you to go from 30 to 35 for seven minutes and 30 seconds. And at the end of that time period, go to 45. Well, you start the stopwatch and seven and a half minutes later, you can stop it and go to the next prescribed speed. It's also, you can toggle for time of day. You will use the time of day on the stopwatch or your clock or your wristwatch at the start or at a transit or at the restart after lunch. So you do need to know how to uh, use the stopwatch or the clock to be able to make sure you have the correct time of day. The third time piece you can use is a wristwatch. Now it needs to be analog, no stopwatch mode on it at all. Now, how do I set these time pieces? Each morning at the official start, there will be the official clock that has the exact time of day that you can reset all of your pieces. And they probably will need to be reset after 24 hours uh, from the day before. Uh, you can also call WWV and that number is provided to you uh, during the great race.